Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Crackgate Online. Uh, this is the second video in a farm machine and power lecture series. And uh, to, in today's lecture, I am going to cover IC engine. So this uh, topic I'll try to cover in uh, two lecture. So IC engine part one and IC engine part two. This is about me. I'm Rakesh Ranjan. I did my M Tech from IIT Kharagpur in 2015, and my gate rank was uh, 31 in gate 2013. These are a uh, few book recommended for the IC engine topic. So if you want to study deep in IC engine, I'll uh, recommend you. Uh, to go through this book, uh, uh, V Ganeshan Internal Combustion Engine, uh, and follow chapter number one, that is Introduction to IC Engine, and chapter number three, uh, Air Standard Cycle and Analysis. You can also follow Jagdishwar Sahai, uh, chapter number three and chapter number four, for your reference purposes. So, today uh, I am going to cover uh, these topics four stroke engine basics and then uh, different, uh, different efficiencies involved in IC engine, air standard cycles, wall timing and governor. So this two uh, topic I will try to cover in part one and these three I will try to cover in part two of this lecture. So uh, this is the basics of four stroke engine. Uh, uh, four stroke engine is uh, most used in the, uh, engine in today's time uh, so it is basically of two type compression ignition and spark ignition uh, so this engine switch so here is having spark plug so it is spark ignition engine but in tractor generally uh, we used um, compression ignition engine that is ci engine so uh, there will be four stroke involved in uh, this engine first will be suction stroke in which the piston will go down vacuum will create here and air will enter into chamber in this uh, stroke uh, that inlet wall will be open in second stroke both wall will remain closed piston will go up a compression will create inside the combustion chamber and then uh, injection of fuel will take place in third uh, stroke that is power stroke combustion of fuel will take place and then again due to uh, air thrust uh, the piston will go down that is power stroke and last stroke is exhaust stroke in which uh, all the burn gas will uh, ex uh, exit from the exhaust wall, valve and that uh, uh, exhaust wall will remain open in this stroke so i am not going to discuss brief about two stroke and four stroke engine you can refer any of the reference book for its detail so before starting the main topic i'll advise that please keep your uh, notebook and pen handy because uh, i'm uh, going to discuss many things which is not uh, included in the slide and uh, it will help uh, you to revise your syllabus also so please keep your pen and copy with you and uh, note down the everything follow this uh, video lecture as your uh, classroom session so note down everything it will be very beneficial for your references so uh, first uh, we'll learn about different efficiency first efficiency is indicated thermal efficiency indicated thermal efficiency is basically ratio of energy in the indicated power to the input fuel energy in appropriate appropriate unit so see uh, this is your combustion chamber and fuel will inject inside this so there will be some calorific value of this fuel sorry for that into its amount will give how much energy you are 
entering into the combustion chamber but all of that energy will not convert it into the useful energy so uh, there will be some losses so uh, your indicated thermal efficiency will be indicated power means power which got accumulated inside the combustion chamber upon mass of fuel into calorific value of fuel so that will give you indicated thermal efficiency second comes brake thermal efficiency brake thermal efficiency is brake power upon mass of fuel into calorific value so brake power is actually power which is uh, available at the flywheel so some amount of power will come in onto the piston that is indicated power but due to these linkages and friction some amount of power will be lost and less amount of power will reach on the flywheel so that amount is called brake power that's why uh, brake power is indicated power minus frictional losses so bp equals to ip minus f you can write it uh, into your notebook bp brake power equal to indicated power minus f so brake thermal efficiency become brake power upon mass of fuel into calorific value third comes mechanical efficiency mechanical efficiency actually take care of the frictional losses so brake power upon indicated power is mechanical efficiency write down brake power upon indicated power is uh, mechanical efficiency and as i told you um, indicated power equal to brake power plus frictional power so uh, mechanical efficiency become brake power upon brake power plus frictional power next come frictional losses frictional losses is indicated power minus brake power so whatever loss is there due to friction um, so if we will reduce the brake power from indicated power we will get that friction loss some of the other terminology i will discuss here first is the power of engine uh, this is very important equation for the power of engine and every time get used to ask question from it so power of engine is plan into n upon 2 so i'll discuss all terminology one by one p is indicated mean effective pressure indicated mean effective pressure p l is length of stroke l is length of stroke a is area of the piston n is that capital n is speed of revolution that is rpm and small n is number of cylinder of the engine upon 2 upon 2 is used for four stroke engine because tractor engine is four stroke engine if it is two stroke engine then there will be no two so it will be p l a n into n so by 2 is for four stroke engine so i'll request you that uh, don't remember its dimension like p should be in newton per meter square or l should be in m or uh, n should be in rps or rpm just follow the si symbol so always keep all the dimension in si so you will get the power in watt every time and after that you can convert it into kilowatt or horsepower so always put the si unit and never remember the values like plan over 60,000 and like that. So it will be very easy for you. I'll solve a question which was uh, asked in gate uh, based on this equation uh, in my uh, next or next to next slide. Next is specific fuel consumption. A specific fuel consumption is basically uh, amount of fuel consumed per horsepower per time so it is basically kg per hp per hour so how much amount of fuel is required to operate a engine of 1 hp for 1 hour is a specific fuel consumption so write down fuel consumption per unit time upon power is a specific fuel consumption and last analogy is mean 
piston speed this is also very uh, important so mean piston speed because your piston speed will keep varying okay so at the top its speed will be zero in middle it will be maximum and then again on bottom its speed will be, be uh, zero so uh, to find its average value because it will uh, follow a sinusoidal curve like this speed will vary like this so its average value will be mean piston speed so mean piston speed will be 2 into stroke length into rpm 2 ln mean speed one question was asked in gate on this formula also so this l into n value you can find out if suppose mean sp piston speed value is given so you can um, find the value of ln and directly this ln value you can keep here see this ln value you can keep here and find the power of engine so based on this one question was asked on the um, gate in previous year that i'll discuss later so first i'll go through this question see this question was asked in gate 2014 and this is based on the efficiency of the ic engine so brake power of four uh, cylinder engine is 30 kilowatt he's talking about 30 kilowatt is brake power with all cylinder firing and 20 kilowatt with any one of the cylinder cut so in that condition only three cylinders is firing so in that case brake power is 20 kilowatt so he is asking about mechanical efficiency of the engine as soon as mechanical efficiency come uh, the thing should strike in your mind is i need brake power and indicated power but in this question uh, indicated power is not mentioned anywhere so uh, from this data i'll need to calculate the indicated power okay so suppose b is the uh, p is the indicated power and m is the loss uh, in the engine so when four uh, cylinder was firing so four into p so on each cylinder p power is coming so four into p minus some losses will be there right so some losses will be there so this is indicated power for p minus frictional uh, power loss m equals to 30 when all four cylinders are firing now comes second case when only three cylinder are firing so three into p this is indicated power minus some frictional losses will give 20 kilowatt of brake power when three cylinder is firing so let's solve this equation m m will cancel and value of p will come 10 so in each cylinder indicated power is 10 so for four cylinder it will be 40 so indicated power of the engine is 40 kilowatt and m value is 10 m value is 10 means frictional losses is 10 kilowatt so 40 kilowatt will come onto the piston 10 kilowatt will lost due to frictional losses and 30 kilowatt will be available on the flywheel when all four cylinder are firing so uh, they are asking about mechanical efficiency mechanical efficiency you know brake horsepower upon indicated power so 30 upon indicated power is uh, 30 plus 10 right brake power plus uh, frictional losses equal to indicated power so brake power upon indicator 30 upon 40 equal to 75 percent so 75 percent will be your mechanical efficiency of that engine so c is the correct answer for this question so uh, this was the ic engine part one in the next lecture lecture i'll uh, cover ic engine part two which will be fully numerical based and i'll uh, solve many uh, important question which was asked in the gate previously so don't uh, miss that lecture and if you are finding this video lecture series helpful please uh, like subscribe and share with your friend this uh, channel is uh, fully dedicated for your help and uh, i want your support also if you want me to cover some of the specific uh, topic uh, which you think may be beneficial for your gate examination please uh, mention it in comment section thank you very much for your time see you soon
एन आई सी इंजन पार्ट 